So greetings and good morning. It's Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com and I'm actually just hanging out. Uh, that's the actual pool house uh, to our place here in Cognano Island. But I came here in the, uh, in the pantry, basically. And this video is specifically for Tom, my buddy Tom. He and I talk about uh, a lot of things. We've been working together for almost 10 years, but we talk a lot about you know, technology and, and, uh, and, and electricity and power and that sort of thing. Tom, Tom was wildly successful in the power industry from an IT perspective as well as monitoring and that sort of thing. But, so, but, the, but the practicality of that and actually deploying it is something that I wanted, to, I wanted to show him today, which is really cool. So naturally, like any house, right, you have a breaker. Here in the Philippines, as well as other countries, um, all the outlets and pretty much all of the lighting and that sort of thing is uh, single phase 220. The easiest way to get 220 or basically 208, if you will, uh, is to have three phase come in and then have basically uh, single phase 208, which for the most part uh, is two breakers because uh, three phase uh, three phase 220 basically means that each leg of the phase or A to B, B to C, C to A um, is about 110 and you would say yes but all of those add up to 300 to 360 uh, volts uh, but no that's not the way three phase works the way three phase works is there are three phases each phase is out of phase with the other 120 degrees and you might say why does that make any sense well 120 degrees is one third of one circle um, and a full rotation of a generator is one circle and so you basically have three sets of windings um, which with with which are with, with which are surrounded pardon me um, are, are, are basically uh, stationary uh, and then inside you have the rotor and the rotor is the magnets that basically spin past these um, these windings which then uh, in in doing so it creates an alternating current and um, so in the US it's very common that these sort of outlets right are basically the potential difference between here between left and right if you will um, is uh, is 110 volts and here it's basically 220 and so uh everything that you buy then either consumes or generates 220 from a consumer grade perspective so therefore the generator that i have um basically creates 220 and so it hovers at about you know 220 there um single phase now a, a big boy generator which is the one that they have in that power thing over there is is three phase so why am i telling you all this well the house is fed by um by uh by uh, 223 phase and um and then it splits off into single phases uh which then power each of the individual outlets and you and so you might think to yourself okay well the only way to power a house is to go into the main and and then distribute that way which is very common it's the most it's the way it's done but since I only have a generator that generates probably no more than about 900 watts, uh, it, it, it's not super efficient. It's called the 1000, you know, for marketing. But at the end of the day, it probably generates eight to 900 watts. But uh, because of the way the world is today, uh, the majority of the lighting is very low consumption uh, CFL. Uh, the little fluorescent tube things right or uh, leds for that matter and, and leds a three watt led can produce a ton of light uh it's because you're not heating the air which is what an incandescent light bulb does anyway so back to this so what have i done so yes i took the generator and i plugged in a couple the guys i think i showed you plugged in a couple of wires and they were gracious enough and they put these wires basically up into the bedroom and so there's a socket up there uh, they've gone in here and then run the wire all the way down basically to the back of the kitchen and then there's a um, compact fluorescent bulb there uh, and then uh, and then they both base they both pardon me plugged into this little um, power strip here so knowing that okay sure uh, the power comes into the house and gets distributed through the breaker panel well if you shut the main off if you saw in the breaker panel what I did is I shut the main off which means any power at this house none of it goes back 
And then what I did is I took the, uh, the generator basically here and I plugged the generator, if you will, into the outlet. This doesn't need, that's like basically for the living room. But I basically took this and plugged the generator uh, into the outlet, which then very quickly uh, powered anything on this circuit. Uh, not the least of which is this is the outdoor lights here, which are very efficient And I had all four of these on and it basically had no load whatsoever on the generator Then what I did is I figured out what circuit breaker this was I turned off all of the breakers and then I turned on this breaker which then allowed this circuit to basically fill the panel Basically on one phase and so uh, I've been toying with the idea we're only here for one more day. And so I was toying with the idea. And then once I did that, uh, and then once I did that, I was able to, I can't remember how the sun is. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to actually walk to the next house, one of the next houses, and get myself, uh, get us, rather, um, some additional towels. Uh, and so, so what that allowed me to do is then basically power one phase of the panel. And so... Uh, the good news there is that I was lucky enough to um, have it such that uh, the majority of the other lighting that I needed and certainly the majority of the wall outlets were then now powered by that circuit. So it was kind of cool. So then I basically just started turning breakers on uh, with the exception of the ones that were labeled AC unit <laughs> uh, because I didn't want that thing coming on. Um, and uh, so actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this because this is gonna look a lot better than Mike's and I'm pretty confident you're getting some wind noise. So I possibly apologize for that. Although you could argue that uh, the wind noise adds to the video, Mike, you don't. <laughs> but anyway, so I wanted to share that because, you know, I do all these videos about contrast, right? And I, I know that there are times in my life where I, my brain uses the phrase, I can't do it this way because I've never done it this way before. And the guys that, the, that I get to work with and stuff, they know that one of my pet peeves is if I come up with some brilliant idea, which is, of course, I say that in quotes and I say it very sarcastically, uh, it could not be brilliant. It might be very annoying to them. But one of my pet peeves is to always answer me with, yes, but we, we can't do it, Mike. We've never done it that way before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's why we're going to do it. Um, that's what innovation's all about, man. And it's funny, I was talking to the guys at Dell recently, and they, you know, I, I did this video before, and, and again, very large company, and, you know, when you go from basically the startup mentality and you get into sort of the, the sort of, you know, bureaucratic type, you know, society or culture, then, you know, it's the infamous, it's like moving a battleship. It's very difficult. So anyway, so to that point, you know, I like to think that I was mildly innovative and uh, you might be like, yes, but you're shoving power back inside of the house where you should be consuming it. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, because, you know, everything's in parallel what that means versus being in series those are the two types of electrical circuits you can basically have and uh so anyway so yeah so we did that so we had outdoor lighting we had indoor lighting i had a bunch of outlets going and uh for the same amount of gasoline basically uh, i was able to power the majority of the house now the the island manager the caretaker he came by and he like comes up to the house he goes Oh my God, he said, I saw the whole house from the other side of the island. Like, it's all lit up. I'm like, how many flashlights did this guy bring? <laughs> I said, no, I did this. And he looks at me, he goes, oh my God, how did you do that? So, anyway, the infamous thinking outside of the box, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've got some uh, polarized lenses. My sunglasses are my reading. My glasses. They have polarized lenses. So again, I, as I've said before, when I walk by these beaches, I'm not quite sure whether you can see or experience the level of clear green water that I am. Uh, but if you are, cool. Because uh, it really does look like this. So anyway, I just wanted to check in for that. And uh, Tom, hopefully that was uh, mildly entertaining to you. <laughs> now, I'm not saying <laughs> take this home and... <laughs> And say to your wife, 
Hey, so I watched this video that Mike's did, and I'm thinking basically we just cut off the power to SDG&E, slam a thousand watt generator in, and we'll have a really neat, fun time this weekend. It'll be like camping indoors. <laughs> Don't try this at home. How's that? <laughs> For all of you that watch my videos. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope wherever you're watching this, you're safe and happy. And it's Mike's from livemyassoff.com my, live my saying I hope you're living the dream, because if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. <laughs>